Corey. It hey, is dude. day 25. So 10 25. Up, that, that would have been wrong. What's up, Coronacation? We're here we made it. again. We did. Hey, before we jump into today, Corey, I have a question that okay. I think a lot of people, I, I got a few text messages about it, but um, oh, I, I think I know where you're going with this because we forgot to do something. Yeah. Um, what was your lie? You did two tricks and a lie. Let me, if I can remember. All right. So you had the story of the dog that returned. Yes, that you was had, true. You had uh, the story of reading um, that you didn't like to read. You weren't really that good at it, but you pretended to so that you could have alone time, right? Yes. And then the one where you hit your sister in the head with a rock. Yes. And I guess that it was your sister. Correct. Was I right? You were right. Um, the reading thing's completely true. The sister getting hit with the rock is true, but I wasn't the one throwing the rock. So I was trying to get close, but not quite. And yours was the baseball one. And I know that that's a lie because you're absolutely hitting home runs all the time, right? That, that one was my lie. Oh, I was wrong. So then what was I, your truth? Wait, 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 wait. I messed up. That one was true home runs before but never over the fence uh, and so that's what I meant so um the lie was uh guitar at seven well then how old were you because I know you know how to play guitar I was 14 14 man think of how good you would have been if you would have started at seven. I, I know you would have been that's twice as good get, that's why I'm trying to get my boys to start playing which Liam oh. has started taking some lessons so that's cool. All right, well, let's get started with today's episode. I want to play a quick game with you that only requires a piece of paper and a pen okay. or pencil. Like you need, you need me to get a piece of paper, Tim? Um, hey, dude, sure. we have the same post-its. How about that? I bet you got yours from the same place I got mine. Probably Walmart. Uh, office <laughs> supply drawer. <laughs> There you go. Okay, um, so have you played the game Hangman before? I have. Okay, so you simply come up with a phrase, something, um, or a word, anything really. You mm -hmm. figure out how many letters it is. Um, how many, many letters you got, man? One, I two, made it three, look four, a five, whole lot six, more complicated than it really seven, was. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so it's two words, a five-letter or six-letter word, and a five-letter word. That's what it looked like. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. One, and then two, you need to guess what these letters are, and I will fill them in. Um, I bet that some of the kids will guess this before you do. Okay. <laughs> Gonna love that. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go with the letter R. Okay. Let's see, I'm writing this down just so just so I Um S. Oh, there's two R's there. Okay, there we go. I got an S. Got an S. Okay. Um T. Nope. Oh. Um. In. Doing pretty good. I wonder if any of the kids have a guess at what this is. I think I got it. Like solved? Yeah, I think so. Can I guess it? <sighs> or is that too fast? Do I need to guess some more letters? No, you can guess it. It's just going to bum me out because I think you might beat some kids here. Let's see. Finally, I need to win something, Corey. What's um, your guess? You could be wrong. Spring break. It is spring break. Congratulations. S-C-R-I-N-G-B-R-E-A-K. You only missed one, a T. 
Congratulations, Andrew. That's a simple game Thank that you, you can play at home with Hangman. It's family. a good one. You can jump on a FaceTime call and do what Andrew and I just did right there. It's a little bit harder, not in person, but it's still a fun game. All right, today we have Steven. He's going to teach us some awesome lesson. I'm really looking forward to it. And then, Andrew, last night you sent me a video of your oh, boys. Yeah. And I won't spoil the surprise. I just got to let everybody know that near the end of today's video, there's some crackers involved. And I don't think anyone throws up. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> but not quite. All right. It's going to be a great crudication. Let's jump in. Hey guys, it's Steven. Hope you're all having a good time in quarantine. Hope you all are staying active. Today I want to talk to y'all a little bit about humility and what it means to put others first. So, what does the Bible say about humility? And so in Philippians 2-3, it reads, Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. This is hard, guys. I know for me, there's a lot of times when I'm just thinking about myself. I'm not thinking about those around me. So it was very hard to remind myself to put others first. If just the other day, me and Eli, my little brother, his name is Eli, and we were uh, in the kitchen and there was one more cookie. And man, I really, really, really wanted that cookie for myself. But the humble thing to do in putting him above myself would be to give him that cookie or at least share that cookie with him. So today I'm going to show you all a story about one of my really good friends who showed an awesome example of humility. So this happened um, back probably six months ago and it, we're in the middle of football season. And so on Thursdays, they play the junior high and the ninth grade football games. And so they need football players from the varsity team to come and help out with those, game, with those games. And I had to work the chains. And so what the chains are, if you've ever been to a football game and you look on the sidelines, they're the really tall, bright orange things that are just kind of there and they pick them up and they move them yeah so that's what i had to do for that game and it was a thursday night and i had to get up and play the next day on friday and i was just really not feeling it that thursday i mean i wanted to stay home i wanted to go and i wanted to just watch tv for a couple hours and just chill out but i had to work the chains so me and my friend robert we went out to work the chains and usually we have three people helping but we only had two and so we were really struggling. It was very hard. And my friend, his name's Chase McDaniel. I don't know if y'all heard about Chase. He has an awesome story. But he got diagnosed with cancer uh, in the spring of 2019. So that was before the season. And he had just on undergone a series of chemotherapy, which is this very intense, very hard form of uh, form of therapy to help kill the cancer. And so he had really been had a tough month or so and he had just gotten out of that and so if I were him I would be like man I want to stay home I want to rest I've earned it I just want to chill today but he saw that we needed help so he came out there and this is just this is right after he got out of chemotherapy and he comes out and he asked us he's like hey guys y'all need any help with these chains and we're like yeah dude we do but you know you, you can go home, don't worry about it, man, you need to rest. And he was like, nah, dude, I will help y'all, man. And so he did, and it was amazing to me because the whole time he was helping us, he had a smile on his face. And I was sitting there, I was complaining, I was perfectly healthy, everything was going good for me, and I was complaining about having to help do the chains for an hour, two hours, it's not that big of a deal. And he came out there and things weren't as going as great for him and he still found a reason to smile and he put me and Robert he put me and my friend Robert above himself and chose to serve us and that was just one of the most humble things I have ever seen in my entire life Chase was a living example of humility he put others first and he put God first in his whole life and he didn't make his life about himself he made his life about Jesus Unfortunately, Chase passed away in late November, but his life and what he desired his life to be about, which is Jesus, lives on. And it's these examples of humility that he showed, these examples of him putting others first that drastically have impacted my life and others' lives. So I share that story about humility with y'all just to say, find ways to serve others. 
Jesus says it is better to give than it is to receive, and that is true. So I hope y'all can, even though I know it's hard during this coronavirus quarantine to serve others, find a way, even if, if it's your mom, if it's your little brother, or your big sister, whoever it is, try to find ways to serve them because that's what Jesus calls us to do. Whenever we put someone else above ourselves, we echo what Jesus did on the cross when he died for our sins, when he didn't have to, but he loved us enough. So I love you guys. I hope y'all are doing well, and I hope to see y'all again very soon. Bye, guys. Hey kids, I'm Lawson, and you guys might have to gear up today because this story flies so high, you just might have to bail. Now, I heard this story from my cousin's best friend, Wes, and it just about blew my mind. Which is why I'm protecting my brain box with this bad boy. Anyways, Wes likes to do tricks on his skateboard. He's like, I got steez, dude. And for you noobs out there, steez means style with ease. Wes has figured out all the tricks he can from the internet, and so he's begging his parents to go to this totally awesome, absolutely radical, totally tubulars, two week skate camp in the summer that's hosted by this guy who competes in the X Games. And his best friend is Thor. But the camp costs kind of a lot of money. Like a boatload. Ja-ching! And Wes tells his parents he's been working so hard, and finally his dad says, okay, you can go. But just as long as it's the only extra thing Wes does all summer, because they don't have money for anything else. So, Wes's mom and sis, Allie, come back from the dentist. And mom tells him that the dentist says, Allie needs braces now. And Wes is like, <laughs> let me see, let me see. And then he has to resort to alternative measures. Dad says, we didn't think Allie would need braces. And now we have to save up for it. And then mom points out that if Allie waits too long to get braces, she's going to have to wear them a lot longer. Like 75 years? Dad says that's just an exaggeration. And then it won't hurt if they wait till next summer. And Allie bursts into tears and says, I'm never smiling again. And Wes feels like his whole world is spinning in circles around him because he has an idea. But he doesn't want to say it. And then he shouts it out. I won't go to skate camp. Whoa. Just like that. Wes says he'll go to skate camp next summer, and that way, Allie can get her braces right away. Even though he's kind of bummed about waiting a year to go to skate camp, Allie's smile makes it all worth it. And to celebrate, Wes does a double kick flip aerial with a triple twist. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. Now remember, humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Now, who knew these things actually worked? Later, dudes. Hey, Corey, so the boys wanted to try the game. I thought, why not film it? We might, we might could put it in a coronation. So Coronacation, if you're watching this, Liam and Levi, they're doing the crack, put it on a cracker challenge. Uh, Liam picked, uh, let's see, he picked A1 sauce, uh, Frank's Red Hot, and spaghetti sauce for Levi. And Levi picked oyster sour sauce, um, mustard, and grape jelly. For <laughs> so the challenge is they have to eat the whole cracker. All right, here's the crackers right here, right here. Okay, Liam, let's let's do you first. Let's do you first. All right. Oh god. I already smelled. Here, hold the napkin too, so you don't drip. Oh, what? All right, ready? Uh, what? Do it. Take a big bite. Chew it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so are you 
bailing on the. Are you bailing? Huh? Oh. Okay. All right. Let's see if Levi can win. Oh, I, Levi didn't mix it up. All right. There you go. Levi. Liam is rinsing his mouth out. All right, Levi. Here we go. Here we go. Chew it up. How is it? It already is in the floor. <laughs> How is it? Good? Really? That's impressive. That's impressive. Thumbs up? Alright, well I guess Levi wins the challenge. <laughs> Liam's over there. Alright, see you later.